हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी डेवलपिंग ऑफ क्लिनिकल ट्रायल प्रोटोकॉल राइट सो जनरली प्रोटोकॉल मीन्स इट इज द रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट्स प्लान ऑफ वर्क राइट सो ड्यूरिंग द क्लिनिकल ट्रायल देर विल बी डिफरेंट फेजेस ऑफ द स्टडी राइट वॉट इज द काइंड ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो ऑर द पर्टिकुलर रिसर्च मेडिकल रिसर्च टीम ऑफ द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री दे आर गोइंग टू फॉलो दैट ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड दैट इज ओनली द टॉपिक राइट सो द टॉपिक इज डेवलपिंग क्लिनिकल ट्रायल प्रोटोकॉल्स राइट सो वॉट प्रोटोकॉल इज द प्रोटोकॉल इज द डॉक्यूमेंट दैट डिस्क्राइब्स और रिवील हाउ अ क्लिनिकल ट्रायल विल बी कंडक्टेड राइट वॉट एवर द फेज वन फेज टू फेज थ्री आफ्टर दैट सो वॉट इज द डिजाइन गोइंग टू बी वॉट इज द काइंड ऑफ मेथोडोलॉजी दे आर गोइंग टू यूज वॉट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ पर्पज वॉट इज द काइंड ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिकल टूल्स इट इज गोइंग टू फॉलो Uh, that those things has to be revealed in the protocol because that also we need to submit uh, into in along with the uh, what do you call NDA file uh, sorry INDA file uh, investigational new drug files to the FDA so that uh, they'll go through and they'll give the approval so generally there is a ICH the according to the ICH International Council of Hormonization previously it was the International Conference. on hormonization uh, it has given the guidelines good clinical practice guidelines right so these are the points supposed to be revealed or the details should be present into the protocol so generally the protocol contain this the first one title page or general information what is the title say for example anti diabetic activity of so and so molecule or so and so new chemical entity right i'm just giving you the example so general information what diabetes mellitus is what is the kind of uh, things uh, the drug molecule it may have these kinds of activity general just a summary then background information background information means uh, who are going to be the volunteer in human volunteer male female what is the age group uh, we have to select the uh, those who are suffering from diabetes whether it is type 1 type 2 right what is the reason climate temperature that background uh, what is the background of that study that we have to reveal here third one objective or purpose very very important what is the purpose the purpose is to screen the anti diabetic activity of new chemical entity into the human volunteer right so uh, like that the objective the purpose it should be clearly indicating in your protocol that what you are going to do with that particular study then fourth one study design that is the main one right uh, study design what is the, how the going to be the your study is right uh, uh, how you are going to select a cohort uh, there are so many uh, clinical uh, trial uh, uh, protocol it is there uh, Uh, how to design the study like in phase 1 number of the volunteers uh, or in phase 2 what is the number of volunteers whether it is diseased one or healthy one right how generally we do in the phase 1 we are taking the 10 volunteer 10 uh, below 100 volunteers those are healthy not diseased in phase 2 diseased but in the less in quantity right uh, num less in number in phase 3 where so those thing has to be revealed design has to be revealed then fifth one selection and exclusion exclusion of the subject right so the subject is for example uh, what is the subject diabetes right so what is the kind of diabetes type 1 type so that selection which which one you have to selecting which one you are going to type to your uh, 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 removing those thing has to be revealed then treatment of the subject uh, we have to treat that, that we have to give the drug uh, to the human volunteer daily basis how long the study it is going to be uh, the treatment is going to be that has to be revealed properly here right then uh, treatment will be done then seventh one assessment of the efficacy and safety the safety we are assessing assessing into the phase one right uh, that's what we are selecting the healthy human volunteer there we are seeing whether the new drug or new chemical entity it is giving the any side effect or any adverse event or not second phase we are in increasing the number at the same time we are taking the uh, patient a diabetic patient we have to select uh, we have to search them first of all and we have to recruit them the per the, the the research team has to recruit them uh, what is the age what is the uh, their medical history and all those things has to be then uh, we have we are checking the efficacy whether it is able to reduce the blood sugar level or urine sugar level or not then safety at the same time it is giving any drug uh, side effect or not right then adverse event if it is giving that has to be noted down properly for each and every volunteers 
then discontinuation of the study suppose if your that also has to be revealed then statistics so what is the kind of statistic tool you are using right uh, those thing has to be revealed here 11th one uh, the quality control and assurance about the particular uh, drug like uh, what is the ethics uh, it is going to follow that uh, uh, whether you are uh, whatever the uh, disease or subject we have selected whether it is ethical or not what is the kind of uh, means uh, it should not be higher dose severe dose it should not uh, should be lethal to the human volunteers first of all so there is a ethical consideration obviously for uh, even for animal model also uh, we are using the ethical consideration by killing the animal to kill the animals and uh, so uh, likewise uh, what ethical we, we we cannot use the any uh, rational uh, any chemical entity which which the uh, side effect and the other dose things has been not determined uh, in either in the preclinical so that's what uh, we have to be in the our boundaries right so there is a boundary so that ethics we have to maintain data handling and the record keeping of course each and every proceeding whatever the data it is being generated that has to be handled properly and it has to be preserve it right so that if any uh, incident happen in future or something if it is required again you have to go back and you can uh, go through that what has happened during that time so data only is going to tell you the story that's what uh, keeping record is very important publication policy whatever the uh, uh, achievement or whatever the finding you are going to get during the clinical trial that publication has to be done in a proper channel right because it is the it may be the funded project it, it may be for the uh, well, the sponsor uh, right it is having because they have invested uh, uh, lots of uh, amounts uh, though that's what uh, the, with the proper channel or with the proper permission only it has to be published in magazine newspaper journal and whatever it may be the project timetable and flow chart how it is going to be what is the timeline you are going to for anti-diabetic drug it may be chronic disease it may be acute disease it may be in days in month in year also right so that flow chart has to be revealed in your protocol then references from where you have selected the method machines uh, raw materials that uh, idea from where it has been got uh, those thing has to be referred uh, from some authenticated and uh, 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 reputed uh, information source uh, then supplements also you can add some uh, uh, anything extra information it is if it is required for that particular protocol so the protocol clinical trial protocol it is uh, one of the written documents one of the written uh, what you call methodology design and all those purpose we are going to reveal to the uh, governing body so that uh, they will have some basic idea that what the particular research team it is going to do and uh, whether it is safe or not so that they can give the approval thank you